in another episode of stuff I got from the Target dollar spot that I don't know what to do with. Hello everyone, good afternoon. It is almost two o'clock and I decided to stop in to my classroom today and do probably an hour, hour and a half of work before I go get my baby from daycare. If you're new here, my name is Victoria. I am an eighth year, third grade teacher and a mom to a 22 month old. And I love to just create teaching lifestyle motherhood content on here. Um, and I'm just so happy you're here. So yeah, we're gonna do a little classroom setup today. It's gonna be, like I said, fairly brief, an hour and a half. Again, if you are new here, I have been in this classroom for the past seven years. So setup is kind of like a loose term. My classroom is set up. So a lot of my setup is like cleaning out and just kind of reorganizing and decluttering. But I think that is so super important as teachers to do those things too, because Clutter can cause stress and we don't want stress around here. <laughs> we want ease, organization, we want things to flow and that is the goal. So that is why we are here over the summer, spending like little pockets of time doing things to declutter and just set up my classroom. Now I am hoping to clean out the rest of my like sliding bulletin boards. If you haven't seen my other classroom setup videos, I'll link them in the cards above, but I started that process and I haven't finished it yet. So I wanna do that. I know that for sure. I would love to also clean out my closets, I think. Well, closets, I mean the cabinet, whatever. And probably also my filing cabinet. Oh my gosh, that is very ambitious. We are not doing all of that. I can almost guarantee it, but that would be the goal. And then after I do all of those things, I feel like I'll finally be ready to send a picture of stuff that I'm ready to get rid of to the staff. So staff can be like, come in and get anything that they want. And if they don't want it, it's either going into storage in the trash or in Goodwill, going to Goodwill or can be left out for my students for meet the teacher night. But anyways, that is the game plan. And yeah, I will kind of talk you through my to-do list and all the stuff that I'm hoping to get through throughout the rest of the classroom setup video. Today is Monday, August 14th. I like looked at my calendar, I don't know. And I am hoping to get in here like at least one more time this week, hopefully two more times this week. And then next week I'm on vacation with my husband and my toddler and we're just going to the beach. We're gonna have a good time. So this is like really the only week I have left before school starts because school starts August 28th. Teachers have two days and then kids come on that Wednesday, which I am so jealous of all of you teachers who are like, we get a whole week um, of training and time to put our classroom together and all that stuff because two days just is not enough. It's just too rushed. And there are things that they, you know, the administrators want to share with us and train us on, but we, they also want to be respectful of the time that we need because we shouldn't have to do all of this like uncontracted work. So anyways, it's tricky, but comment down below and let me know how many days you get before kids start because I'm super curious about that. All right, I'm already getting like so super chatty with the like intro, so I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna eat my smoothie bowl. I'm so excited about it. It's like the first smoothie bowl I've ever had and it's delicious. I don't know why I've never had one before. And <laughs> then we are going to get into it. So let's eat and then let's get to work. Okay, I truly do not know what to do with all of these Target Dollar Spot stuff. <laughs> um, it is all really cute decor, but stuff 
that I'm actually like trying to lean against a little bit. I love rainbow still. I'm still here for the teal, but I want to kind of embrace more like calm aesthetic as well. And I feel like all of this is like very bright and I'm not against bright by any means, but I just, I'm trying to like lean into a little less brightness, a little less like, I don't know. I'm still not really sure where I'm going, but I feel like all of this stuff is not really going with where I want to go. Also, I don't know how I want to use any of it. So it's just like very much too bad because it's all good stuff, but I don't think, I don't know. I'm not sure I'm here for it. Also, really sorry if I have chia seeds in my teeth. I just felt one, but it is what it is. <laughs> Tan grams. Third grade teachers, do you actually use these? Like, I have them and I don't think I've ever used them. Do you use them? Because I think I'm gonna get rid of them, but let me know if I shouldn't. Okay, everyone, bananagrams. Do you actually ever play bananagrams? I think I should like reinforce this and teach this to them more because it's such a great tool and like fun game for like enforcing spelling skills and so on. But let me know if you ever play it, if it's really worth keeping or if it's just gonna like stay in my closet and I don't end up playing with it. In another episode of stuff I got from the Target dollar spot that I don't know what to do with, I got these <laughs> inflatable things and they look so super fun for like some type of interactive game or classroom like transformation or something, but I've never used them. Give me some inspiration. What can I do with these? Because if I can't think of anything, they're gonna have to go. I don't know, they look fun, but realistically, will I actually use them? I don't know, let me know. Did you guys get these or make these a while ago, like a stem bin and then they're just full of like old crusty folded pipe cleaners. I think I got these at one point as like an early finisher and we never really utilized them again. Uh, like story of my life right here. Do you use stem bins as an early finisher? I do like morning choice but we don't use small bins like this. We just have like other containers and activities. So I'm not sure that these are really worth storing. I think I'm gonna throw away all these pipe cleaners anyways, cause they're just all old and crusty. But let me know if you ever kind of like stick, stuck with the stem bins and used them in a way other than morning choice because I already do a morning choice type thing and I just don't use them in like this aspect. Thanks. Oh, also, if you're wondering what is on my shirt, it is smoothie bowl. I'm a mess. <laughs> What's it like to be the one that he turns to when he started when says? What's it like? Okay, everyone, I am on my last little bit, and of course I'm starting to get stumped on all of these teacher books that they give you for like professional development, do a book study on. There's so many of them. I know if I, I will not 
grab these most likely. Like I will probably never go into my cabinet and be like, hey, you know what I was looking for? I was looking for teaching as leadership. Let's like go back to that book. Let's reference it. Like, do people actually do that? Can you let me know? <laughs> but I don't know what to do with them. I don't want to just keep storing them because that seems like a waste. But obviously like the school bought them. So I'm not really sure what to do with them. That might be a question for like my administrator or my team because I don't feel like I can just get rid of them. But at the same time, it's just like, why take up the valuable storage for no reason? All right, that's the predicament that I'm in. I think I'm at least gonna move them up to like the top part of the storage because as I said, I'm probably not gonna reach for them. So why put them in like prime real estate of like an area where I might actually need to access something? That's gonna be the thought process. Running out of time. I wish you felt the same. And I'm acting stupid like every day. Don't know what to do or what I should say. Cause I, I got him on my mind, but he doesn't know my name. You're all he wants and it's midnight oh, I'm thinking about him I have got him on my mind but... All right everyone so this is where we have landed I decided to store some things that I think my my like principal might reference or my curriculum might reference I think I did get an email that like alluded to the possibility of still using FNPs as like a formative assessment sometimes, so I kept them. Um, but I put this whole pile together to put in storage. That's what I've decided I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put like old curriculum store because I saw some fifth grade teachers did that. So I'm just gonna call some of the um, old, you know, professional development books also curriculum because then I can always reference them. They'll just be in storage. There you go. That's the thought. So this is pretty wide open right now, which I love. And I'll show you the other side. The other side looks like this. So a lot of math tools and then some games and some STEM tools. So I'm feeling really good about what I got done. And then let me show you my like pile of stuff to either donate or, you know, give to other teachers and so on. All right, look at this spread. Like there is so much stuff here. So this is all stuff that I've kind of decided I wanted to part with, except for a few books that I have back here that I need to put into my cabinets over there that I just showed you, because there are some books that I kind of dwindled down a little bit, but I decided I think I want to keep, but just like if in case my kids miss them kind of thing. I don't think that they will, but in case they do, I won't regret it as much. So that's the thought. Okay, everyone, so behind me, I have my stack of books that I am putting away for me to, you know, reflect on and see if I miss them. But if I don't, then I am getting rid of them next year. And I'm really excited about this. I think this is a great way to kind of like declutter my library without like fully committing to getting rid of so much because these are a lot of books and they're good books too, but I just don't want... I want my library to be accessible. That is going to be another classroom setup at some point too, is like making my library a bit more accessible, but I don't know when because I, like I said, I have like three days and then I am going to be done. So we'll see. <laughs> so I have about like 20 more minutes before I wanna leave. So I am going to check this off of my to-do list and then I'm going to start working on my cabinets. My cabinets should be pretty good because I cleaned them last year, but as you know, you accumulate clutter throughout the year. So I'm going to start working away at that next. And then I will finally be able to like take a picture 
and send it to the staff and be like, hey, whoever wants this, come and get it. Please take it off my hands. <laughs> okay, let's go do that. Okay, everyone, let me explain. <laughs> I have like all of these things that I have gathered throughout times when I have done kind of like classroom transformation type things. I've never done like a full blown classroom transformation where you like decorate the whole classroom, but I've done like book tastings and like a Because Owen Dixie party and some like um, sports theme things and you know, all that stuff. So anyways, I have all of these things um, that I put in like one storage container, but it's getting to be like too cluttered in one. So I think I need to put it in like several different storage containers. So I have like, you know, book tasting, Winn-Dixie party, explore theme, you know, stuff like that. That way it's not so crazy. So that's what I'm going to work on right now. But I thought you might like be wondering why I have, let's say a bucket hat and a lay and some Minnie Mouse ears <laughs> and fairy wings. You know, it's all about being a teacher and just being a little, a little bit crazy, but that's okay. <laughs> Okay, everyone, so that is it for today's vlog, today's classroom setup. We went through my whole bulletin board storage, got rid of stuff there, put the books back from my like classroom library, like, you know, declutter that I'm like saving, but not sure if I want to keep in the long term. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, watch that video, it'll explain it. <laughs> and then I started on my cabinets, but definitely am not done. I just keep finding stuff, you know, that I don't need that I've held on to because I felt like I should. But at this point, I have been in this classroom for seven years or six years. I don't even know at this point. Um, and I don't if I'm if I haven't used it, I don't need it. So that's the thought process. We are doing a major declutter and I am pretty proud of where we are. I still have my goal. I think I'll be in here tomorrow a little bit. My goal will be to work through those cabinets. And then I think that my coworkers will be coming in. And usually my coworker's son um, likes to bring in some of the supplies. So I am hoping that he'll bring up my supplies so that I can do a little like unboxing at some point and share what I got. But I also kind of budgeted and like showed you what I was going to purchase anyways. So if you haven't seen that video, go watch that one. I'll link it in the cards above. But that is what I'm thinking about for tomorrow, but we will have to wait and see until tomorrow comes. And I also am like a little bit more shy in vlogging when my coworkers are here because you can totally hear each other through the classroom doors. Like even though there's walls and you know, mm -mm, it's, you can hear each other. <laughs> so, but they know I have a YouTube channel. I, it's just like, you know, a little thing that I gotta just work through. <laughs> so anyways, we were productive. We got stuff done. Please comment down below anything that like kind of came to mind while I was working away. Um, one thing that I talked about at one point in one of my classroom setup videos was that I wanted to like re kind of, you know, decorate my classroom. I would still love to do that, but I'm really not sure if I'll get to that before 
class, like the school year starts. So we'll see if I get to it or not. But I was really inspired by like a little, what's it called? I, I can't remember what it's called, but it's like the little like sporadic dots. It's a type of tile. I can't think of it right now. Terrazzo, that's what it is. Ah, there we go. Um, I was really inspired by some like terrazzo type things. So that's the vibe that I'd like to go for, which is still colorful, but it's just a little less like pal rainbow. We're still, we're not gonna go away from the rainbow. We love the rainbow, but like just a little, you know, more dialed down. So hopefully I get to that. If you have any thoughts, again, comment them down below. Thank you so much for being here. And I look forward to you all seeing the next one. So if you wanna see the next one, don't forget to subscribe so you see it. And you're, if you wanna like be notified when it comes out, hit that notification bell. I love you all. I will see you all later and toodaloo for now.